Road trips are something that we are always looking forward to. And in fact, for us enthusiasts, they can be a bit of therapy as well. So I am set to hit the road for what is Turbocharged's longest road trip yet. One that will see me drive the new Skoda Kushak from the sea to the sand to the snow and well pretty much across every kind of terrain that our country has to offer. So I am heading off from Mumbai which is also where Skoda is headquartered and from here we head straight to the sands of Rajasthan and onwards to show the Kushak some snow in Himachal Pradesh. And well this already sounds like a lot of fun and like a very exciting road trip ahead. Of course, the Kushak is a very strategic product for Skoda, being the first under its ambitious India 2.0 project. Interestingly, its name, the Kushak, is derived from the Sanskrit word Kushak with a K at the end, which translates to young emperor. And through this road trip, I was keen on showing Skoda's young emperor the very country it intends on ruling. And by the time I drive all the way to Himachal Pradesh and get back home, I would have covered roughly about 4,000 kilometers or probably more in just about a week's time in this very Kushak. And that's going to make this my longest road trip yet. And well, going by my previous experiences with this SUV, I mean, I do know for a fact that the Skoda Kushak is comfortable, it is practical, and of course, it's got great mile munching manners. And overall, I think this is definitely going to be one of my most memorable road trips yet. And well, the Kushak is one handsome looking premium SUV. It looks sharp with lines and creases in the right places. And I also really like the design of the headlamps and DRLs as they add to its appeal big time. Same is the case with the 17 inch alloy wheels, which are shot with 205 section tires and add to the Kushak's road presence. Leading us from Mumbai towards Rajasthan and of course further up north towards Himachal Pradesh later on is NH48 which is a part of the Golden Quadrilateral and we are passing through the state of Gujarat right now which experiences a lot of heavy traffic as this particular stretch of the Golden Quadrilateral from Mumbai to New Delhi is pretty much like a lifeline of sorts for the roadways in India. But the Kushak seems to be doing perfectly fine. I mean, I've got a good view of the road ahead and of course all four corners. It's easy to negotiate through the scores of trucks on the highway right now. And well, the start-stop system is something that I really like because it's very intuitive and the engine comes back on in literally a fraction of a second every time I need it. The Kushak is on offer with two engines, the 1 litre TSI and 1.5 TSI, both of which can be had with manual and automatic gearboxes. And my choice for the road trip was the more powerful version powered by the 1.5 TSI engine, mated to a 6-speed manual gearbox. The combination not only made for good driving pleasure, given the slick gear changes and light clutch, but also helped me make rapid progress as we crossed Gujarat to touch Rajasthan. With 150 PS on tap from its 1.5 TSI motor, the Skoda Kushak is one of the most powerful SUVs in its segment. And the highways in Rajasthan, they're straight, they're six lane, devoid of traffic and smooth. And that makes these the perfect roads to put the 150 horses down. But then you do have speed limits. And the speed limits here range from about 80 to 100 km per hour, depending on which stretch of Rajasthan you're driving in. But then here's the interesting bit. Besides helping it make the road safer, these speed limits are also helping me extract some brilliant fuel efficiency numbers from the 1.5 TSI motor. So on any given day, you're talking about at least 600 kilometers on a tank full, which is roughly the distance what most people would do on a multi-day road trip like mine and all of this while having 150 horses at your disposal. A lot of times, things do not go as per plan though. And for me, a bit of disappointment was in store as we got to Northern Rajasthan, which is where the sand dunes are located. So it looks like 
I'm slightly out of luck at the moment. We're just on the outskirts of Jodhpur city, which is where the desert area begins. But it has rained the past couple of days in Rajasthan. Unseasonal rains in the month of January are a bit odd, but not something that we could really control. And I am advised by the locals that getting into the sand dunes at this moment might not be a very good idea. So for now, I guess I'm going to continue enjoying the smooth arrow straight highways in Rajasthan, continue driving further up north in search of snow. The Kushak was also proving to be an able companion. Its interiors offer the premium vibe you expect of an SUV wearing the Škoda badge, given the choice of materials and surface finishes. The cabin is also spacious, which added to our comfort, considering that we were practically living in the SUV, besides which the boot had ample space even after taking a week's belongings for three people and a camera equipment. I also like how well spec the Kushak is and how it takes just the right boxes. It gets a crisp looking 10 inch touchscreen that integrates information like fuel efficiency, tire pressure and engine oil levels. You also get wireless charging and wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity, besides which the Kushak is also equipped with two USB ports at the front and two at the rear. One of my personal favourites though are its ventilated front seats as they will be a boon in Indian summers. Our progress on the Arrow Strait Highway was rapid without needing to take too many pit stops thanks to the Kushak's well-engineered powertrain. The 1.5 TSI engine features active cylinder technology which shuts down two of the four cylinders when the load on the engine is low, essentially when cruising at constant speeds. And this helps the 1.5 TSI engine offer excellent fuel efficiency, even better than some of the smaller and less powerful engines in the market. In addition to the active cylinder technology, the insides of the cylinders on this engine are plasma coated. That helps in reducing frictional losses, which in turn helps in lowering the fuel consumption further. But more importantly, it also helps in better dissipation of heat all around the combustion chamber, which helps in reducing thermal loads on the engine in the longer run. And with cruise control at hand, munching miles in the Skoda Kushak was all too easy, also made possible by the constantly upgraded highways. For the matter, Skoda has also been upgrading its reach across the country constantly, something I got a little taste of later that evening. So I just got introduced to yet another interesting bit about Skoda India, which is how aggressively the brand is expanding its footprint across the country and of course, effectively the number of touch points that it has in India. And I am right next to the highway beyond Udaipur in Rajasthan and this is Jay Skoda, one of the dealerships come service centers here. And uh, since I saw this place, I was like, why not just get inside, get the car checked quickly. It's past sunset, but yes, the guys were really helpful. They just decided to take a look at the car once before I head into the hills further up north. And yes, one thing is for sure that Skoda India is being very bullish about its expansion, especially when it comes to after-sales service and customer care. The service personnel were very excited on hearing about our road trip and we had clocked almost 1500 kilometers in two days, but the Kushak was taking it all in its stride. The little checkup at the Škoda dealership confirmed all was well and the SUV was in ship shape. I called it a day shortly after the pit stop, only looking forward to hitting the road the next morning. When it comes to the dynamics, Skodas have always, always been brilliant driver's cars and the Kushak here takes that tradition forward really well. It's got the kind of composure that few other SUVs at its price point do and there's a distinctive premium European vibe to the way the car drives on the road, the way it feels from behind the wheel and it really all adds up in helping to make this a very good mile muncher for long drives. And at the same time, the kind of ride quality that it offers, I mean, the whole suspension setup, the way it's balanced in terms of ride and handling both, it all adds up to ensuring that there's minimum fatigue even on some really long days behind the wheel. The Kushak's ride quality is very impressive, even with a full house on board. For that matter, just like any other Škoda, the Kushak also offers a very reassuring feel thanks to its robust build quality and that adds to its likeable manners. Not only does the stability and the planted feel of the Kushak help in making it an excellent mile muncher, and a comfortable family SUV for a road trip like this one, it also adds to the sense of safety. And well, the Kushak comes equipped with six airbags, and that's reassuring to say the least. As we pass through the national capital region, we had another challenge awaiting us, that of torrential rains. 
but the Kushak almost seemed to egg us to continue driving ahead. It felt very stable in pouring rain, affording lots of confidence behind the wheel. Driving in the rain, in the dark, also proved to be a test for the LED headlamps and well, they aced it by offering excellent visibility. And as I called it a day in Chandigarh that night, I could barely contain my excitement for the next morning when the flat and arrow straight highways would make way for the mountains. Driving up the mountains always feels good and the Kushak only amplified that experience with its excellent road manners including the sporty handling and of course the powerful 150 PS engine. More importantly I was now thousands of feet above the altitude where we had started off from the sea level and we were now at the foothills of the Himalayas in search of snow. The scenery changed and so did the trees to tall pine ones while the air got a lot colder. But the Kushak seemed unfazed by the change in the altitude, the geography or the driving conditions. It felt as fresh and responsive despite the vast change in terrain, feeling as sporty, as powerful and as comfortable as it did when I had started off from Mumbai. And soon, it was time to introduce the Kushak to the snow in Shimla. This is exactly what I came in search of, snowfall. Now, Rajasthan was a bit of a disappointment as I couldn't really get to the sand dunes, but Himachal Pradesh is certainly delivering the wow factor. Now, as you can see, it's snowing right now, fresh snowflakes falling right on my palms. It's all looking so stunning, it's almost like a proper whiteout. And the Kushak here seems to be doing quite well, I think. Well, the 1.5 TSI motor is offering good amounts of grunt at low revs, which means getting off the line from standstill in these tricky conditions is quite easy. But most importantly is the traction control that's really the saviour for me here. There's lots of black ice, which means that traction is literally non-existent and that's where the traction control, the TC system in the Kushak is helping matters and helping me keep things in check. Driving in snow calls for extreme caution, especially if you don't have a four-wheel drive system at your disposal. But despite being a front-wheel drive SUV, the Kushak felt confident, allowing me to drive ahead thanks to its smooth power delivery and precise throttle control. Lack of traction control does not make a difference on most occasions, but on snow and black ice, it was no less than a boon. The traction control system helped me make progress without being too impressive, and an added bonus was that thanks to it being a front-wheel drive SUV, the Kushak's tail was not spinning around like some of the rear-wheel drive vehicles around me. I wanted to drive further ahead beyond Shimla, but the impending heavy snowfall was a concern and locals advised us against it. What I also realized there was that over the 2000 kilometers that I had driven from Mumbai, there had been no change in the Kushak's performance or responses. This despite having to rely on fuel stations in unknown towns with questionable fuel quality. The Kushak was thus proving to be very reliable, feeling perfectly at home in every possible situation, taking on every challenge I had thrown at it. We had driven it across pretty much every type of terrain our country has to offer, right from the sea level to the deserts and then sub-zero temperatures, thousands of feet above sea level. But everywhere, the Kushak only seemed to impress living up to being an SUV engineered specifically for Indian conditions. So this road trip has turned out to be a great way for me to start 2022. I mean, I've driven this SUV across pretty much every kind of terrain that our country has to offer and it has performed flawlessly. In fact, I've covered over 2000 kilometers in just a couple of days, taking this very Kushak from the sea to the sand to the snow, and it has not given me any reason to complain at all, be it on the arrow straight highways in Gujarat and Rajasthan, or in the snow in Himachal Pradesh. But more importantly, besides being fast, efficient and comfortable, the Škoda Kushak has proved to be very reliable. In fact, it feels perfectly packaged for a country like ours. But then, that's not surprising when you think of it this way, that the Škoda Kushak is the first product made by Škoda in India for India. 